George, I want to continue with Napoli for a minute yeah. because I, we were talking off air about Fiche Kvartskelia, and obviously everybody knows the story. The guy comes from, you know, he's Georgian, comes in, low transfer fees, been absolutely uh, phenomenal Amazing. this season, yeah. both in Serie A and in the Champions League. He missed a penalty in this game, and I had a text from a colleague like, oh, Kvartskelia is great, but there's no end product there. And I want to say, obviously, end product's very important. Yeah. If you're a bit harsh because he, he's, you know, he's double figures and yeah, goals this like season for a winger, which isn't bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you had some interesting numbers about his performance on the wing. Yeah, because, I mean, I think we were all the same. You, you, you look at, it, at that game and you, you, pick, you pick what you want to watch, really, right. more than just the whole game. So maybe some looked at the Kier and Tomori against those men. You could look at Leao against you know against Di Lorenzo for example you can look at whatever you want and certainly I think a lot of us would have looked at Kvaras Gellia and saying okay this is the game where I want you to step up this is the game you have to win for Napoli that I want you to see and win okay. the old um, phrase that says like big big games belong to big players all that kind of stuff but let's not forget we have a big big player who is 21 just yeah exactly 22, which maybe is still like... new for him so yeah, yeah okay. exactly um, and you could say and, and I think that's fair that Calabria, who played a right back for Milan, so direct opponent to Kvaraskelia, was amazing certainly in the first half, with a lot of help from Krunic, for example, or Benasser, because there was all, very often a, a double two team. Two on one, yeah. Yeah, two on Kvaraskelia. But if you look at the second half especially, and then the whole numbers at the end, Kvaraskelia touched the ball 98 times. 98 times. 98 in, times in 90 for a minutes. winger is it's, a ridiculous amount of time. It's really unseen before. Like, this is the numbers that a defensive midfielder or centre-back puts up, really. Right. 98 times, which is clearly the game plan was feed the, give the ball every time, especially once Politano had, had left the pitch. It, it, was, it was very much like, let's, let's give the ball to Kvaraskelia, and Calabria had a lot of defending to do, and with the help of others, as we mentioned. And still, Kvaraskelia dribbled past someone, Calabria or someone, 10 times. In 10 this, successful dribbles in a game. Which, again, again I, think is, I, don't th I think maybe one player had 10 before, in the Champions League history, but it, since Opta uh, collected the stats. So to, to put this into context for those who don't go deep into stats and who, you know, for example, think that, oh, Mbappe must have 20 successful dribbles a game. He yeah, doesn't. No. If, you, if you average more than three, you exactly. are a tremendous yeah. the top, dribbler. top, top, I like around four. Yeah, Neymar, his best was around four, four per game. Right. And, and Mbappe, I'm assuming, is around three or something yeah, like something that. Like you know, that. But, uh, you know, Messi, his best was probably five. But right. that's it. To um, do 10 against a Milan team that was so good defensively in the whole game, where you were very often against two players, it w it's, it's really uh, a credit to his talent and his, his genius to some extent. And in the second half, he created himself a couple of chances where he went between the two Milan players to hit, to hit a shot very often in a, in a tight an angle. angle. Yeah, yeah. But, but still, so... Maybe like this you would see and say, oh, Vasquez didn't really turn up, which is maybe... Partly true for the first half. In the second half, he did much better. There was a lot of crossing. In the end, overall for Napoli, that didn't really work out. Even if Ozyman scored on a cross late, there might have been other other options or better things to do. For example, I was I was cr like screaming in front of the television with my kids watching why there was no run into the half space. Once Vazgelia is on the ball and you've got Calabria and Krunic, that means there's a lot of space yeah. for a midfielder, let's say, Zelensky, Zelensky. Yeah, even Lobotka from deeper or whatever, to make that run into the half space on the left, to try to cause, sometimes it was just too predictable, give the ball to Kvara and then he's going to do something. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.